All right, so in this problem, I have 7 to the power of 100 minus 7 to the power of 97. So to solve this, I'm going to first rewrite 100 here. Oops, sorry. I'm going to first rewrite 100 here as 97 plus 3. So now I have 7 to the power of 97 plus 3 minus 7 to the power of 97. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 7 to the power of 97 plus 3, that's equal to 7 to the power of 97 times 7 to the power of 3. Now I have this minus 7 to the power of 97. Now from here, if I factor out 7 to the power of 97, I get 7 to the power of 97 times 7 to the power of 3 minus 1. 7 to the power of 3, that's actually equal to 343. So now I have 7 to the power of 97 times 343 minus 1. And 343 minus 1, that's equal to 342. So now I have 7 to the power of 97 times 342, which is my answer. Now I actually have a second method of solving this problem. So I had 7 to the power of 100 minus 7 to the power of 97. And now this time, instead of changing 100 to 97 plus 3, I'm going to change 97 to 100 minus 3. So I'm going to have 7 to the power of 100 minus 7 to the power of 100 minus 3. Now I can rewrite this as 7 to the power of 100 minus 7 to the power of 100 plus negative 3. And this is equal to 7 to the power of 100 minus 7 to the power of 100 times 7 to the power of negative 3. So now from here, if I factor out 7 to the power of 100, I get 7 to the power of 100 times 1 minus 7 to the power of negative 3. 7 to the power of negative 3, that's the same thing as 1 over 7 to the power of 3. 7 to the power of 3, that's obviously equal to 343. So now I have 7 to the power of 100 times 1 minus 1 over 343. So now I can rewrite this as, I can rewrite 1 as 343 over 343. So now I have 343 over 343 minus 1 over 343, which is simply equal to 342 over 343. So this is my answer. All right, so I have 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x is equal to 10. So for this problem, I want to find the value of x. So for my solution, I'm going to first start by factoring out 3 to the power of x from my left hand side. So now I have 3 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 is equal to 10. Now 1 plus 1, that's obviously equal to 2. So now I have 3 to the power of x times 2 is equal to 10. Now, I want to get rid of this 2 because I want to isolate x. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2. Now these two cancel out, and I'll be left with 3 to the power of x is equal to 10 divided by 2, which is the same thing as 5. So now, this gives me another equation. I have 3 to the power of x equals 5. So how would I solve this? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log. 3 to the power of x is equal to log 5. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this x1 and b to the front. So this would equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 3 to the power of x, and I can actually move x to the front. So this can equal x times log 3, which is equal to log 5. Now, I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by log 3. So then these two cancel out, and now I'm left with x is equal to log 5 over log 3. Now log 5, that's equal to 0 0.699. Log 3, that's equal to 0 0.477. So if you divide these two, you get 1.464. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have 44 to the power of 44 over 22 to the power of 22. 
So now to start, 44 here, this is the same thing as 22 plus 22. So now this is equal to 44 to the power of 22 plus 22 over 22 to the power of 22. So now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 44 to the power of 22 plus 22, that's going to equal 44 to the power of 22 times 44 to the power of 22. And now I have this over 22 to the power of 22. Now this is the same thing as 44 to the power of 22 over 22 to the power of 22 times 44 to the power of 22. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So in this case, 44 to the power of 22 over 22 to the power of 22, that's going to equal 44 over 22 to the power of 22. And now I have this times 44 to the power of 22. Now 44 over 22, that's simply equal to 2. So now I have 2 to the power of 22 times 44 to the power of 22. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times b to the power of m, this is simply equal to a times b to the power of m. So in this case, we have 2 to the power of 22 times 44 to the power of 22. And we can think of a here as 2, b as 44, and m as 22. So we want to put this in the form a times b to the power of m. So we know that a is 2, b is four, 44, and m is 22. So this is going to equal a times b, so 2 times 44 to the power of m, which is 22. Now, 2 times 44, that's simply equal to 88. So now I have 88 to the power of 22. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of 18 minus 1. So to start, 2 to the power of 18, well, 18 here is the same thing as 9 times 2. So I have 2 to the power of 9 times 2 minus 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of m. So 2 to the power of 9 times 2, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 9 to the power of 2. Now that minus 1. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, we can think of 1 as 1 squared, because 1 is the same thing as 1 squared. And now that we have 2 to the power of 9 squared minus 1 squared, well, we can think of a as 2 to the power of 9 and b as 1. So now I have 2 to the power of 9 plus 1 times 2 to the power of 9 minus 1. Now, if you guys already didn't know, 2 to the power of 9 is simply equal to 512. So now I have 512 plus 1 times 512 minus 1. And 512 plus 1, that's obviously 513. 512 minus 1, that's obviously 511. So I have 513 times 511. So to solve this, I'm going to rewrite both of these. So for 513, I'm going to rewrite that as 500 plus 13. And for 511, I'm going to rewrite that as 500 plus 11. So now I have 500 plus 13 times 500 plus 11. So to solve this, I'm actually going to distribute both of these terms. So I'm going to distribute 500 and 13. So I have 500 times 500, which is the same thing as 500 squared, 
plus 500 times 11, plus 13 times 500, plus 13 times 11. Now 500 squared, that's the same thing as 250,000. 500 times 11, that's the same thing as 5,500. 13 times 500, that's the same thing as 6,500. And 13 times 11 is the same thing as 143. So now 250,000 plus 5,500 5, plus 6,500 plus 143. Well, 5,500 plus 6,500 is simply 12,000. So I have 250,000 plus 12,000 plus 143. 250,000 plus 12,000 is 262,000. And 262,000 plus 143 is 262,143. So this is my answer. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the problem nine to the power of 900 minus nine to the power of 901. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by evaluating my terms. So we have nine to the power of 900 and nine to the power of 901. And these two terms are pretty similar, except that the exponent for 9 to the power of 900 is 1 less than the exponent for 9 to the power of 901. So the easiest way to solve this <clears throat> is to simplify this as much as we can. And a way to do that is to factor out a term. Well, 9 to the power of 900 is actually a factor of 9 to the power of 901. So all we have to do is rewrite 9 to the power of 901 as something times 9 to the power of 900. Well, we can use property of, properties of exponents to do this. So I'm actually going to rewrite 9 to the power of 901 as 9 to the power of 900 plus 1. And now I can use the exponential property a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So I get 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 1. So now from here, these two terms have the number 9 to the power of 900 in them. So I'm going to factor out 9 to the power of 900, which is what I said I was going to do at the beginning of the video. So now I get 9 to the power of 900 times 1 minus 9 to the power of 1. And this is equal to 9 to the power of 900 times 1 minus 9, because 9 to the power of 1 is the same thing as 9. Now, 1 minus 9 is equal to negative 8, so I get 9 to the power of 900 times negative 8. <clears throat> now, from here, I said I was going to simplify this as much as possible, and we can't really get the exact value because 9 to the power of 900 is such a big number that we can't actually get the exact value for that. However, what we can get is the simplified value, and we're going to simplify it as much as possible. So I'm actually going to move this negative sign to the front. So I get negative 9 to the power of 900 times 8. And this gets me negative 3 squared to the power of 900 times 2 to the power of 3. We're simplifying these terms as much as possible. So I'm going to use a quick exponential property. I say that a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n on 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 900. So I get negative 3 to the power of 1800 times 2 to the power of 3. So this is my final solution to this equation. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and even show this to any of your friends and family. That would support me a lot. I have a bunch of other videos similar to these on my channel. And if you're up for any challenges, I have a bunch of those. So please make sure to check them out. And thank you for watching. Bye.